<laughs> What's up guys, welcome back. Today we're doing another Kids Can Cook 2 and we're doing um, Southern Banana Pudding. And we're going to be using Nilla Wafers. The reason I want to do this is because I took a vacation with my parents to Tennessee once, like two years ago I guess. And we ate at this family style restaurant. And it was the best Southern Banana Pudding I've ever had. Mostly because it was the only banana pudding I ever had. But... Um, anyway, come in close and I'll show you guys the ingredients that we've got for you. We've got um, whipped cream, any type of whipped cream. And then we've got milk, Nilla wafers, not vanilla. I know you guys would rip me a new one if I said vanilla. Then we have vanilla jello pudding flavoring and three medium-sized bananas. First things first, we got to slice up our bananas. Um, I'm just going to chop off that little black piece right there just in case that's bad or anything just for safety and um, I suggest if a little kid's gonna be making this use a butter knife you know wanna be as safe as you possibly can once your bananas are sliced just put it off to the side so we can do the rest you are now going to pour three cups of milk into the bowl and then you're gonna add the dry pudding mix Lastly, you'll wire whisk for two minutes or until, you know, it looks good and edible to you. Now set this off to the side to let it sit for five minutes. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15. Now you're going to want to arrange it all on the bottom just so you know it looks beautiful or to your liking. Now you top the Nilla wafers with banana slices. Now pour half of your pudding on top of the bananas and Nilla wafers. I thought molasses was slow. Now spread it with a spoon or flat surface just to, you know, make sure it's even throughout the area. And then lick this, give the spoon to the child and let them lick it. Now you're going to add your Nilla wafers and then add your banana slices again and just basically repeat the whole thing. Now you add another layer of bananas on top of the vanilla wafers. Add the last bit of your pudding on top of it all and then spread it evenly. Now put all your whipped cream on there and then spread it evenly or to your liking. I completely flattened it out and it looks semi-perfect. Now you're going to stick it in the fridge for three hours so it can solidify and become more pudding-like. So I think it's been about three hours now. Um, I'm, I pulled it out of the fridge, and here it is. It's all jiggly. And so you're, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want any small bowl, and then you're going to want a big serving spoon, whether you're serving it to multiple people or just yourself, and then you're going to want a little spoon to use to eat it so you're not, like, scooping it out phew, handfuls. So anyway, um... I'm going to scoop this in right now, probably get a little bit. Didn't get any vanilla wafers. There we go. All right. Now we've got the uh, everything served up. Now, um... Take a few steps back and I'll try this for you. All right, I have a little bit of everything. I have the whipped cream, the Nilla wafer, the banana, and the jello part of it, I guess. I don't know, so let's take a bite. That's really good. 
Um, the Nilla wafers really softened up. The whipped cream is like really creamy. It just when it solidifies, that makes it amazing. The best part about this recipe is there's no possible way you can hurt yourself unless you drop the glass bowl on your foot. But, you know, I doubt any of you will do that. So anyway, I'll see you guys on the last episode of Kids Can Cook 2, and I'll see you guys later.